Hello everybody, this is Simon here, and uh, what I want to discuss with you in this video is about the idea of uh, desire and um, how you can um, connect the idea of desire with, um, with source or with um, with God, if you will. Uh, I like to call it source or God, and point to the same thing, the same um, essence when I use those words. But to me, desire is that which can lead you towards uh, a um, more inclusive relationship with life. It can lead you to a more uh, inclusive experience of the totality of life. So, I do not see desire as something to get rid of, uh, rather, I see the fire as something that is pointing you, that is leading you to that which your higher self, that which your um, true self, your essence, your divine essence, wants to explo explore, experience, to be, to, to, to um, have be included in it total experience of life. So I do not see desire as something to get rid of, um, even though having being driven too much by desire can cause a, um, the mind to become agitated. I do believe that desire is sort of like a, a pointer towards that which your higher self wants you to experience, wants you to explore, wants you to, to dive into, to, to um, it's like leading you to more of yourself, in essence, is how I see desire. Um, now, I do also see that there's a possibility to use desire, to transform desire into a more real, a more intimate experience with the totality. So, what I mean by that is the experience of desire. It can, if you blindly follow desire, it can cause you to experience imbalances. But if you listen to desire, what is this desire want? What, what, what is it that I really really want, not what I like or dislike, but what is it that I really yearn for or desire, um, that desire can be, um, as I said, a guiding point towards that which, uh, to new things to discover, but it can also be so that desire that causes dysfunction can be transformed into a um, devotion or into a uh, sort of, um, not a perspective, but a, um, a kind of um, direction towards more of a more holistic, a more unified experience. So, by basically not labeling things too much, by not putting things too much in boxes, then you can start to see everything as the same spirit, everything as, as sort of, as they say, one love. And by through that, your desire can be um, lead you towards further and further unification with the source in action. 
So by but what I mean by that is basically that if you direct your desire towards um, that which you know serves you and serves others, it can become a unifying factor for not only yourself but for other people. So one way is to see desire as something selfish, something to get rid of, whereas I do see desire as something leading you, pointing you towards what you really are excited about, and then that is not in itself something you need to get, but it's just a pointer, it's like a pointing you to that direction, here, here, look at that, look at that, that's something to, to, to discover, to explore, to, to look at, to, to experience. So, rather than the idea of getting rid of desire, desire can be seen as something like a driving engine within you, but it does not have to cause for a for imbalances, because if you're driven blindly by desire, it may cause a sort of imbalances, like you are trying to avoid maybe something, or you're trying to... Um, compensate, or you're trying to, um, you know, um, sort of avoid maybe a part of yourself by, by going, by being very, very, you know, um, driven towards something else and something in this nature, but it can be used, desire can be used as a sort of unifying energy that helps with whatever endeavor you have. So that's the thought I'd like to share with you in this video. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.